Hi guys, good morning and welcome to today's products in focus. So most global equity markets are a little bit higher this morning. Uh, China's managed to post another positive day, lots of government intervention over there. Um, not much else coming out about Greece just now, uh, with the uh, US 30 just almost breaking above 18,112. We ticked above there yesterday, just got pushed back down towards the end. Uh, German, Germany 30 and UK 100 pushing on uh, nicely higher this morning as well as uh, everything seems to be all right with the world for this week anyway. You can see here looking at the UK 100, uh, it, it smashed through 67.71, we're edging closer to, the, to that um, 55 period SMA. People still di digesting Kearney's comments uh, that he made on Wednesday. Uh, and uh, the sterling is, is getting out a bit of a boost just now. So breaking that down a little bit more, uh, he expects the first rate rise to happen at the turn of uh, 2016. Uh, so probably about January, February time, potentially. And um, they thought they might have a normalization of rates within three years uh, to about half the, uh, the, the, the average. Uh, now the average interest rates in the UK would be about four and a half percent. So uh, some commentators are taking that to, uh, to think that we might have rates in the UK of 2% by the end of 2017, currently at 0.5%. So maybe a quarter percent rate hike to begin with and see how things pan out after that. But certainly Sterling's getting a, getting a boost. We'll have a look at that in a second. Uh, and the UK 100, uh, this kind of bounce back right here. We could really do with getting above the tips of these candles here and getting close to 69.06. Otherwise we might be, uh, this could be what we call a, a trumpet formation, um, which is a, a, a ever increasingly large waves uh, up and down um, but the overall end result is negative but uh, it'd be quite good if we could just break the tips of that and that can put that technical signal out uh, out to water um, in regards to the technical indicators uh, we are still relatively neutral we don't have any overbought uh, signals yet in fact the macd is close to crossing the zero line um, it's not happened as of yet um, but that would also add extra uh, bullish momentum especially if we can get above this 55 period SMA as well so moving on to Japan 225, uh, grinding higher, 28.68, still longer term potential resistance. Dollar yen's been great, it's been above 124. In fact, we should have a look at that more primarily. MACD's uh, across the zero line here, the other technical indicator is relatively neutral. Japan 225 potentially has more mileage should dollar yen continue to, uh, to, to move higher as well. So you can see we pretty much got to 124.42 yesterday. Failed to break through there so far today. We've got uh, bullish momentum on the uh, MACD, not yet overbought on the other technical signals, so kind of similar to Japan 225. Uh, and there's a lot of um, kind of momentum behind uh, the US dollar in regards to uh, Yellen's testimony. Seem to indicate that we're still going to get a rate hike in 2015. Uh, macro data events will have uh, probably dollar yen is probably the best place to put to put your potential analysis on should uh, risk on still remain in play so uh, as long as then your kind of Greece doesn't blow up and China doesn't start to, to sell off uh, dollar yen looks to be the the FX pair that a lot of people are looking at however if there is a, a little bit of, uh, of, of negative news out there in the market then people will buy the yen as a, as a safe haven over gold that's what we've seen historically so just bear that in mind but certainly if the, if the times are good and the US dollar looks like it's, it's taken up dollar yen will be popular so looking at West Texas crude, grinding lower, getting close to uh, 4940. We've talked about this a lot over the last couple of sessions. Not much else to talk about over and above that. Same reasons as ever. Iranian deal um, is obviously dollar uh, crude oil negative, uh, but they're not pumping oil uh, to the global economy for some time. So looking at gold, looks to be 1137 is going to be the potential support level to watch out for. We're slowly grinding there just now. Other technical indicators are relatively neutral with only the slow stochastic, uh, my friend, slow, slow stochastic and the RSI are just going into oversold territory, but no reversal signal given yet. And if we look, have a look at euro dollar, the euro has been losing um, a little bit of strength in the back of uh, the, the deal to bail out Greece because we don't know if the IMF is going to pay. As a matter of fact, they're not paying for the first tranche anyway. It looks to be that the eurozone is having to fund uh, the first tranche of, of bailout uh, for Greece first and then the IMF might get involved after that. So there's still a little bit of uncertainty about who exactly is paying for the uh, Greek bailout. Uh, the UK certainly isn't. They managed to get that signed off yesterday. There was going to be like a £700 million contribution by the UK to help Greece, but apparently that's not actually happening there. Uh, and that's causing a little bit of instability in the euro. So finishing up with GPUSD, you can see the sterling there bouncing off one spot 56 yesterday, looking pretty good. Trading by both moving averages, bullish cross on the MACD, 
Still uh, further room for manoeuvre based on the RSI and the slow stochastic. So one spot 57.43 is the next potential resistance level to watch out for. So economic data wise, we've got um, a whole host of uh, CPI data from uh, from the US at 1.30. Uh, and we also have the consumer um, sentiment survey from University of Michigan at 3. And then if we fast forward onto Monday, we've got German PPI. And then on Tuesday, we've got UK Public Finances, nothing really that exciting. Wednesday, we've got the NPC Bank of England Minutes. That'll be interesting for uh, GBP USD traders or cable traders. And then you've got your existing home sales and crude oil inventories there as well. So uh, as ever, keep your eye on Greece. Um, make sure you, we get a flavor as you know how, how the deal is potentially going. Um, keep an eye on the chart forum. Keep looking at insights, make that part of your leg going forward. And uh, join us again on Monday to find out what happened next.